morning a start is on the Blue Ridge Parkway starting at Turk Mountain Turk Mountain Gap and uh, we're headed down 12 or so back down into Waynesboro uh, didn't get my shoes yet but they're at the post office and uh, if we get our butts in gear instead of poking around like I always do uh, we'll get the shoes today. So I'm looking forward to that. New shoes on the way. I'll keep you posted. Have a great day. And look at the blueberries all along the trail this morning. These are little guys, but they're a nice tasty treat. So you basically just pick a couple off, the ones that are super dark blue, like this one, and this one's right here, this one, some of those guys, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy, a couple more. And you get a little hand of blueberries. Eh, the red one's probably not, oops, red one's not probably that good, but yeah, mm-mm. Blueberries. flower um, I don't know if that's an old chicken of the woods or what it is
overcast day. As long as it doesn't rain, we're good. Here's a view down the power lines. And there's the Blue Ridge Parkway right in front of us, walking along it. it looks pretty bad, but it ain't. Good hiking day. Gotta make this mountain taller. Make the mountain taller. <laughs> Oops. Don't fall down the mountain. that one cute somebody put a bird's nest in there or the bird actually nested in the cairn at the top of the hill skadoosh we got on top there it is boom that's the top sticker okay first view okay first view of the day it's beaut <laughs> yay at least the sun's not beating down too much. You gotta look at the upside, right? It's raining. Uh, seven miles to go. Yeah. I'm at the end today. Um, I had a bug in my shoe or a stick or something. I don't know. Anyway, here's what I'm looking at. I'll catch up with you. Have a good day. Sacked in. I hear thunder. Must be this way. Eureka. So I seen these guys from the other side of the valley the other day. I looked uphill, I was like, oh look at that, there's radio towers. And sure enough, we get there. So lousy day, but um, yeah, something interesting. The um, butterfly food is in bloom. Milkweed, you can see it there. Here, I think I showed you earlier, but I'll show you again. I haven't seen any butterflies on them, though. That's definitely a milkweed bloom, though. Little striped rock with a blaze on the trail. And I'm going to look for a place for us to sit and have some lunch. Oh, look at that. Uh, tractor seats, even. Nice little switch back here, all made out of rock. Goes up, up, and up, and up, and up.
He did it. They were coming up on the original bridge, one of the original bridges, the center of the uh, Shenandoah Blue Ridge Parkway. And in the middle of this bridge is something the old timers might care to know because back in the day, it was a big deal to ride the Blue Ridge Parkway. And it would go all the way from Smoky Mountain National Park to Shenandoah National Park, according to, to uh, Ward, who told me this story. So right now, there's Turtle Scout, but I'm gonna walk down to the middle of the bridge, and I'll show you in a second. So here it is, Rockfish Gap, crest of the Blue Ridge, okay? So that's the whole idea. This is the middle. It's the exact middle. And right here, on this stone bridge that was made by the CCC, I guess that stands for Civilian Conservation Corps, which is where they put Americans to work to build cool stuff for our country. One of the things is our national parks. But right in the middle of this bridge is the center point of the Blue Ridge Parkway, mile marker zero. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks, Ward, for telling us all about that. Cool story, man. Really appreciate that. And your hospitality from the shelter in town in Waynesboro. Much, much appreciated. It's my first time in a cookout restaurant. A cookout restaurant. It's like, uh, I don't know. I guess an inexpensive burger joint that you pay to get everything extra because the burgers come plain. Interesting, we'll see how it tastes. All right, we got our burgers from Cookout. Went to the hotel and found out that the hotel was the wrong hotel. So we were at the hotel 20 minutes away from the first hotel and we're camping at the hotel. And that's what the look is. And look at those two buildings over there all closed and boarded up. You wonder what those used to be. Well, look like a gang hideout now. It's a shame to see that real estate go to waste.